Geekdom. This is Shemuk doing another reaction today. Reacting to a video from Anime's channel. Uh, he's going to be discussing uh, anime and it seems like it's going to be a discussion on Ichi Anime. Um, the title is Ichi Anime Has Gone Way Too Far. Um, like Slice of Life Anime uh, and stuff would usually be the ones I, I usually go to when it comes to, to anime. I like some like big action animes and stuff like that but just only some uh, others kind of uh, fall short for me <laughs> but uh, I do I do like I like some but usually slice of life animes is the one I usually go towards um, did see romantic comedies and stuff like that so uh, but yeah <laughs> we'll see what uh, what he's talking about here with this anime and how they've gone to too far. Um, so yeah, let's see what uh, what he's talking about. Hey everyone, and welcome back to yet another new video where we talk about our favorite subject, the one and only anime. This week we will be discussing the future of anime as a whole, with all the upcoming shows and how these shows are being portrayed. So before we start, be sure to hit the subscribe button and press on that bell icon, and set us all to be notified about all our latest new videos. I love his intro. Throughout the history of anime, we have watched countless shows from multiple genres, and each one has its similarities as well as differences to another. Mm -hmm. During the golden age of anime, though, a lot of shows became iconic and staples of the anime world and community as a whole. You say about different are Yu Yu Hakusho, Saint Seiya, Cowboy Bebop, and of course, the grandfather of anime itself, Dragon Ball Z. These shows had a great impact on the industry as a whole and changed the face of the anime industry forever. Mm -hmm. For example, Dragon Ball Z gave the rise to the big three, Naruto, Bleach, and One Piece. And mm -hmm. no matter how much you would like to deny it, these three anime and manga changed the face of anime completely, making it a staple industry for Japan and recognized entertainment all over the world. Yep. Now, whether you like it or not, these anime are the big three, and for those that say that Bleach isn't one of the big three, or that these are the old big three, and a new big three exists, mm. are just so damn wrong. But I digress. We aren't here today to discuss why they are called the big three, or how do they become the big three. We are here to discuss a much bigger issue that is concerning to some, while just a normal occurrence to others. And this elephant in the big room is nothing other than the new anime that came out those past few years that featured a lot of nudity in them. They could be called borderline in a way. We both know yeah. which anime I am talking about. This wave, or this new genre if you want to call it so. This is number one bullshit. Began oh, no. thanks to an anime called Ishizuko Reviewers, or the Inner Species Reviewers. This anime had quite a simple plot. Three guys would go off to a different brothel every night and rate the woman in it, as well as the style of I can't really, I can't really say on this. services they offered. And after they are done, they would post their ratings on the bulletin board in the tavern. At first, it was sort of a way to pass some time, meet some hot girls, and have fun. But later on, thanks to their highly descriptive and useful ratings, they were flooded with a lot of requests from monsters to rate certain brothels for them, since they want to visit it but have no idea how the service would go. The job of these three men were to go ahead and test the brothels and rate them for themselves. That was all. That anime had a simple, easy to understand plot with lots of edgy scenes. And nudity was classified by some streaming platforms as and was banned from being released on their platform since it barely had any censorship at all. Yes, yeah, man. Even though it clearly wasn't. It was treated well, a lot that of, way. A lot of anime gets really close everywhere. to it. The only way to watch it was through third-party pirated websites or through the other select few platforms that didn't ban it from being streamed. And yet everyone was ecstatic about such a show and the idea of a series especially since it barely had any censorship to mention. This show became all the rage. With just the debut of the first episode and everyone started clamoring that they wanted anime on going from that point to be the same style as this show. As a whole community, there is a lot of nudity when it comes to anime in the world, whether it was just etchy or full-on hentai or somewhat in the middle like high school DxD, for example. 
The backlash the anime featuring nudity received was also expected since everyone has that stereotype idea that anime is for kids. Then nudity is a definite no. There, there's anime and that's specifically for kids and there's and anime that's specifically Once the anime was done and everything calmed down after that's one until a new anime took the world by surprise. It then depends on the kids and the country. This anime is none other than Redo of a Healer. And even if you haven't watched a single episode of the series, I bet you already knew when I mentioned the anime title, what anime I was talking about. This show became so notorious by episode one, thanks to all the topics and taboos, it shoved into one episode. The things oh, yeah. that the main character went through were nothing short of sadistic and merciless actions dealt by a cruel and heartless entity. The princess sure got what she deserved, though in the end, however, and you already know what I am talking about, the rod scene, I won't go into any of the details of what happened in that episode, just mentioning this anime and some of its scenes could get this video cancelled. So, mm -hmm. I have to choose my words carefully when talking about such a delicate subject like that show. The show later on introduces its harem, and one by one, well, he sleeps with all the girls in his party and submits them to his will. This character suffered a lot in his past, I don't think it's now interesting it is time with the to finally live a little and have the energy he plays couldn't get in his each previous one life. Differently. This series and there's people that's like that. Like, if you look at psych when it psychologically was how the people and interact with other and people, nudity, it featured in its this, episodes. However, this show was a good display was of that. Open the door for many and how some people shows like and series with similar themes and genres to finally jump out of the woodwork and see the light of day. Some of those shows are the Bastard manga, with all its violence, profanity, and nudity. It is finally receiving an adaptation and will be released on Netflix soon, a platform that isn't strange to featuring nudity in its works. Oh, However, no. it was thanks to the redo of a healer that this theme became somewhat the rage and somehow okay to be featured on streaming platforms and TV. It wasn't only series with nudity, however, as a lot of new series that they are coming featured an insane amount of violence and profanity that will soon see the light of day like the Chainsaw Man manga. A manga with a huge fan base that were in disbelief at the fact that it is finally receiving an anime adaptation after all those years. This show is nothing less than a masterpiece with all its aspects combined, but it was due to its excessive violence that it was shelved. Until now, that is. And even now, a lot of new releases are somehow challenging and testing the limits. That thin, invisible line that separates ecchi and borderline hentai from full-on hentai. With the new works being released like, for example, The World's End Harem. A story of five surviving men in a world of only women. And only that she made women. Up. Animated. And these five men now have to repopulate the world. I won't mention any details of the show since even a fifth grade student knows how population is created between man and a woman. And since I don't want my channel to get cancelled, thank you very much. Overall, when it comes to all those new daring releases in nature, a lot of people will be concerned as to what comes next. And if this is just a wave that will soon calm down and everything will go back to normal, or that the anime industry is yet being transformed into a whole new form of industry that will feature, again, nudity and violence. Like it used to do in the old days. And honestly, in my opinion, yeah, I old days they used to show, showcase the new changes the taking place. Uh, no more senseless censoring and, and more violence and fights. This is the beginning of a new era, and whether you are with it or against it, the fact is that the industry in itself is changing into something new. And this thing will either doom the industry as a whole, or it will pump new blood into the mix and change the rules of the game forever. Overall, this is my opinion, and only the future will tell us what awaits us with the upcoming releases and how the audience will receive them as a whole. That is why all we can do for now is just wait until these shows are released and weigh the positive and negative sides of these shows. This was obviously my personal opinion of the matter, and it is far from being a fact. Each one of you surely has his own ideas and views as to what anime is becoming and whether it is a good thing or not. All right. That is yep. why I want you to comment down below and state where you stand in this matter. So yeah, he, he brings up a lot of interesting interesting things. Uh, I think it, it, it is changing. Uh, I think it, it changed before... Um, to get like that worldwide appeal when it came to like Naruto, um, Bleach, and uh, One Piece and stuff like that. There's a lot of things that have changed with it, but um, cause back back in the day, that's one thing that we used to see. When I used to watch anime, is that it was more um, there's more adult themes in certain type of animes. 
um, back in the day. Whether it was like you had Kira or um, Wicked City, stuff like that. They um, there, was, there was a lot of still like adult theming with it. Um, but it wasn't like as brass as a lot of anime is right, right now. Um, but you did have a lot of a lot of like adult theming and stuff like that. There was some like Photon was one of my one of the ones that I did like. A lot of people don't like it, but it's one of the ones I did like, and it was uh that one is like kind of the same. It has nudity and stuff in it, but because he he brought back the point of how they how they're going back into like it was back then. But I was like I don't know if that's a bad thing or a good thing. Things are changing. And people's viewpoints of different topics, different things are changing, changing as well. So with that comes to what what they want as far as like worldwide audience, and then what they want as far as the uh, the Japanese audience, because that's something that they try to base things off of too when it comes to creating anime. Because it's it's more than just um, what the American audiences or the European audiences and stuff like, they also go with what their, um, but the Japanese uh, culture and stuff as far as just like what they like um, when it comes to their weaves uh, and what's going on with them. So the otaku culture and what's going on with them. So they, they attempt to make anime depending on the otaku culture in Japan as well. So, and it doesn't even have to be what our culture tends to go for but there's going to be an audience for different different shows different topics that's the only thing you're going to have an audience for uh, all of it it's just is it going to be a large audience or is it going to be a small audience but it just, it just depends it depends on how you do it. it depends on how you do the show I don't think it to me it too much matters but it just depends on how you do the show the nudity the, the everything to me um, doesn't too much matter there's different things that I'm more interested in um, when it comes to shows and stuff, and I said with Redo Healer, um, the thing that I, I found interesting was the character and how he manipulates the different ways and he manipulates not only his party, the women in his party, but also citizens in different countries and stuff like that. He would talk down to people, but they won't see it in a negative way. And I was like, the way he manipulates and talks to people is crazy. And I've seen it happen in real life where people would do that, where they have certain ways of talking to people, and then you're not really like realizing exactly that they're talking down to you or how they're talking down to you, and you still let things go. And you like you don't really realize it at the moment that, hey, you being treated disrespectfully by this person, and you're just going along with it. So, yeah, it's interesting. I I, I think of those things. I look at those things when it comes to anime and characters and how they're built more than just like whatever nudity or whatever crap they they come up with <laughs> all the, the the weird scenes and stuff like that i think using weird scenes are something they do for shock value even with like goblin slayer i think that first episode is more of a shock value type of thing to get people to come and see it because anything that would get people talking is what they want to get people to watch it but to me it's the development of how the characters are is what i usually look for um in the story um how the story is but we'll definitely see with a whole bunch of stuff i i i, I think either i forgot that they were doing world's end harem or uh i just didn't remember but i, I know of world in harem um yeah <laughs> it is it is what it is but um, let me know what y'all think about this and the topics and stuff like that as well. Um, if you're into anime. Or if you're not and this is what brings you to wanting to check out anime. Hey, whatever. <laughs> whatever floats your boat. I don't yuck people's yum. I don't, you know, to me it's all art and, and taste. As long as you're not harming anybody else. Hey, I don't too much care. <laughs> But thank you all so much for jumping on and giving me a try. I really do appreciate it. Please do take care of yourselves and each other. Peace, geek, though.